Hey fellow YouTubers, here is the Audio GD Precision 3 S amp that I bought a few years ago. Now today I just happened to be on a high and um, I try to remove its top cover and mod its inner parts because I happen to have some um, 50 volts, a thousand microfarad capacitors lying around so I thought, hey, why not replace these capacitors with better ones? So. I opened the unit up, and guess what? It's a literal nightmare for any DIYers if they happen to get their hand on an Audio GD unit. It's literally impossible for you to mod any of these, and the reason being you don't have full access to the PCB board. Now, I don't mean I don't have access to these parts. Yes, I can see them, and I might one I might I might remove any of these parts if I try really hard but if you really want to mod this amp you need to have some serious investments because this is straight up the hardest to mod thing I've ever seen now the reason being when you remove the top cover you have access to the PCB board now normally what most manufacturer would do is that uh, the wires would go from this transformer to the PCB board through a snap-in connection, such as the, um, say, a two-pin connector that uh, connects the wires to the PCB board, and you can just snap it off for easier repair. But Audio GD doesn't do that. Kingwa said the best connector is no connector at all so he hardwired everything on board he soldered everything on this pcb board you cannot take this pcb board out without removing the transformer which means these two literally go hand in hand you cannot take this out without moving the other now what if you just want to move the pcb out of this enclosure without touching the transformer you have a way to do this and it comes at a very great cost now what you need to do is you need to desolder everything from the RCA input jack to the audio GD patented input jack to the um, speaker tap on the on the left side on the right side and everything right here and after you desolder everything every input connector every output connector then you need to desolder the input wires from the transformer to the PCB board. And after this, you need to manually remove every single screw on this PCB board, which is more than 20. And after you do all of that, you can take this PCB out. But there's a catch. Guess what? There is an AC inlet here, and you still need to desolder the wire that goes into the AC inlet. And if you if you're not careful, you can damage this entire board. And if you are, it would take you more than eight hours to put everything back. I'm serious. This thing is built to not let DIY modders mod it in any way possible. You cannot touch the PCB without damaging the parts. It's impossible. This thing is built so that DIYers cannot lay their fingers on it. And being the stubborn guy I am, I tried to have access to the... Um, to the PCB via the back cover, which is right here. I removed every single screw, and guess what? Guess what? These four screws cannot be removed because they're directly connected to the transformer. As you can see, there's a metal plate right here that um, connects the transformer to the bottom plate. And you, you simply cannot move these four screws without clamping these tight, tight stuff and um, clamp them firmly in place and remove them. And guess what? This transformer is hot glued to the bottom plate. So if you remove the bottom plate, you remove the transformer, which is hardwired to the PCB board. And the only way you can remove the transformer without touching the PCB board is either to yank all the wires out or desolder them. Listen, this is simply the most DIY unfriendly design I've ever seen. I very much appreciate King Wall's great effort to not let modders touch this piece, but, you know, for DIYs, this is a literal nightmare.
I I really don't know what to say about this other than well other than that King Wa is a, is an absolute genius. He has every right to dissuade DIYers from ever touching his, you know, equipments because every equipment presents a very unique sound and if you change any components inside, the sound would change and King Wa goes to great length to not let DIY models touch his equipments. As we all know, Many of Audio GD's um, equipments don't even have a fuse. That's not because they don't really have a fuse. They do. But they're hidden very deep, either within the transformer or within the PCB board. It's hidden so deep, you cannot spot it with bare eyes. And even if you can, you cannot remove it. You cannot manually remove it without damaging the other parts. This is... This is God tier PCB layout right there. Like, this is literally god-tier PCB layout. If something in this board goes broken, you literally cannot take the board out and fix this for yourself. No. Especially the capacitors. Say, if one of these capacitors go leaky, if it leaks, you cannot take the PCB out without manually desoldering all these joints, which is such a pain in the ass. Like, oh, like, man. I... Uh, I really don't know why they went to great length to avoid, you know, to avoid DIYers from touching this, but I really appreciate the effort. And I think that's, um, maybe that's something more companies should do because, you know, some DIYs like me just, just want to flip the top cover and, um, and play with the parts. And sometimes you got to stop doing that because it takes the fun out of music listening. So yeah, here's um here's my little rant about Audio GD gears. As much as I hate that uh, I can't manually remove the PCB to tinker with the parts, I really appreciate Audio GD's um effort to keep everything intact and irremovable. It's a great nuisance, but also for us um for many other users out there, it's a great joy because well, no third party um modders can can mod this thing. It's literally immodable. So yeah, enjoy this little rent. And um, peace.